and welcome to another basketball edition of the Adrian Ross Show. I'm so glad you're tuned in. I want to say thank you to every subscriber and invite others to hit the subscribe button. Also, join one of the memberships we have for the channel. Now, the day after the Indiana Fever was eliminated from the playoffs, it's it's here, it's today, and yet my respect for these players has elevated today elevated they were just eliminated they were just swept adrian why would you respect them even more today well i'm going to tell you that's why i'm here the indiana fever players released this video today thanking their fans for their support hey everybody it's caitlin clark i just want to say thank you it was such a fun season inside gamebridge certainly the best arena in the WNBA. um we can't wait for next year you were all amazing helped us win a lot of games um so we're thankful for all of you Thank you, fans, for an amazing season at GameBridge. Can't wait to see you guys show out next year. Hi, fans. Kelsey Mitchell here. I just want to tell you guys thank you um, for literally everything. You know, y'all energy, y'all support, their appreciation. Hey, fans, thank you so much for supporting us this season. We really appreciate you coming out to the games and sharing for us from GameBridge and from afar. What's up, fans? Just want to say thank you for an amazing season. We appreciate y'all's support. Thank you guys so much for coming out, showing up, showing out all game, like every game. Uh, you guys really made the atmosphere amazing. Um, I really thank you. So, Mwah. Hey, fans. Thanks for always being there every single game, cheering us on. We appreciate all the love and support. Can't wait to see you next season. Hi, fans. Thank you for a great season. Hi, fans. The meeting's done this year. I just come to say thank you for support all the season. And I love you guys. Hey, fans. Thanks for a great year. Uh, we've loved your support, and we're so grateful that you guys could make it out and make this year special. Thank you. Hey, Fever fans. We just want to say thank you for a great season. Your energy was so uh, from the first game all the way to the end. What's up, fans? Thank you guys for being our six men. Thank you guys for showing up for us day and night. Listen, we appreciate you guys for the energy you bring. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Let's go. Okay, cool, Adrian. Nice video. All right. Why, again, has your respect been elevated? I'm glad to answer that question. Understand, I did a video last night, late last night, after Alyssa Thomas from the Connecticut Sun decided to use her post-game uh, interview to dog so-called Caitlin Clark fans. And as I said in the video I put out, by extension, Caitlin Clark, she used that time, the fever's lowest moment, and she decided that this is the time to try to make Indiana Fever fans and Caitlin Clark look bad. She went so far as to say, we don't want you. And as I said in that video, it's really Caitlin Clark that she doesn't want. It's really Caitlin Clark they don't want as an institution. Uh, honestly, it's it's been a lot of nonsense. Um, I think in my 11 year career, I've I've never experienced the the racial comments from the Indiana Fever fan base. Um, you know, we had her face on a serious matter that happened in, in this world, and it's unacceptable, honestly. And um, yeah, there there's no place for it. And we've been professional throughout the whole entire thing, but. I've, I've never been called the things that I've been called on, on social media, and, and, and there's no place for it. And, and you know, basketball is headed in, in, in a great direction, but nah, we, we, don't, we don't want fans that are, are going to degrade us and, and call us racial names. I mean, we already see what, what's happening in the world and, and what we have to deal with in that aspect. And, you know, we come to play basketball for our job, and it's fun, but we don't want to go to work every day and, and, and have social media blown up over, over things like that. It's, it's, it's uncalled for and something needs to be done, whether it's, you know, them checking their fans or this league checking. There's, there's no time for it anymore. Okay. Shortly thereafter, as I shared in that video, the WNBA released a statement. WNBA is a competitive league with some of the most elite athletes in the world. 
While we welcome a growing fan base, the WNBA will not tolerate racist, derogatory, or threatening comments made about players, teams, and anyone affiliated with the league. League security is actively monitoring threat-related activity and will work directly with teams and arenas to take appropriate measures to include involving law enforcement as necessary. Kind of interesting that that statement was ready so fast. But Alyssa Thomas came out there to push the narrative that they want pushed out there. We don't want Caitlin Clark in this league. So we're going to go after her fans and we're going to call them the lowest thing you could possibly call someone. And that is you're a racist. There's no evidence of that. And as I said, I don't doubt that there are some people out there. You're always going to have loose cannons out there. But to put that on a whole group of people and to put Caitlin's Clark, Caitlin Clark's name on that is inexcusable. And to be so married to social media that you cannot be adult enough to turn away and realize that folk going to be folk, you've got the problem. But anyway, I said all that the other day demonizing a whole group of people, most of whom have absolutely nothing to do with the nonsense you see on social media, and you didn't even mention how it's also coming from the other side. So you're a hypocrite there. What did the Indiana Fever do? In spite of what Alyssa Scott said and Dijanae shaking her head up there, in spite of the WNBA coming out and issuing a statement right after that, the Indiana Fever says, we don't really care what you have to say. We know what kind of fans we have. We know the people who support us. It would have been extremely easy with all that pressure for the Indiana Fever fans to say absolutely nothing to their fans. But on the heels of their fans being totally accused of the vilest things, they said, we see you. We got you. We thank you. Because they know a lot of this nonsense is just that nonsense. It is the agenda of this league, of this activist league, to get rid of those they feel do not fit in, do not belong. And so they're going to ride this narrative. And I'm going to call it out. I'm not going I'm not going anywhere. This podcast was here long before I started covering the WNBA, covering the Indiana Fever. We go back years. My writing, it goes back years. I call out hypocrisy. I call out the media. I call out politicians and I give honor where honor is due as well. So, I'm going to continue to do that as I say all the time. Sports is a microcosm of society. And this WNBA league, unfortunately, gives ample opportunity to call out nonsense. They do not want Caitlin Clark in this league. And as far as the commissioner in issuing that statement, I find it extremely odd that that statement was ready so fast that you get a player in the WNBA who speaks out after a series ends. And just like that, you jump on. She talks about checking your fans. The WNBA needs to check their fans if, if Caitlin Clark and the Fever won't check their fans. And just like that, you've got a statement. This tells me one of two things. Number one, you're absolutely frightened of these players. And I don't doubt that at all. You are so scared that when a player says, you better jump and talk to some whoever out there pretending to be Indiana Fever fans, maybe, I don't know. Because you can't turn off social media. Looking to buy a new home in the Jackson, Missouri area? Then check out the all new Kinder Farm subdivision located at Bird Court in Jackson, Missouri. It's on Highway 34, less than one mile from the 7234 intersection, just five minutes from Jackson High School. Perfect location. Don't miss out. So either you are so scared that you jump to attention. Is that what you want me to do, Alyssa Thomas? Now, now she is quite intimidating. And so are a lot of these other ladies. So either that or... You're in cahoots 
It's all part of the narrative. It's all part of the plan to get rid of them. And some people say, Adrian, that makes no sense. Caitlin Clark is what's bringing, uh, is who is bringing the fans. She's who is bringing the money. I done told y'all over and over again, they don't care. They would rather go back to basic obscurity. They don't want to be bothered with Caitlyn. They don't want to be bothered with more eyes. They want to be their activist league. They want it to be us four and no more. Our certain kind of clique. They don't want Caitlyn Clark. Some people had thought that the league and the officials would be in cahoots to make sure that the Indiana Fever uh, made it past game two because of the fact that a lot of people are done. They're not watching anymore for Caitlin. Let's just be real. And so some people said, yeah, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Indiana's going to win because the officials are going to help them. And it was the exact opposite. And I'm not saying they should have. The, the officials should not be, you know, having someone win. The officials, if we can just get them to do their job. And I may do a video at some point about how, how horrible they were last night. But it's obvious. No. They were not trying to make sure the Indiana Fever got to the, the next game. If anything, they were making sure Indiana did not get to the next game. And again, they should not be trying. Well, there are some people who say that superstars should have a special whistle. There, Some people have that argument. I'm just saying if you could just do your job well. But they're going to have to clean house as far as officiating is concerned. But no, the officials were not trying to make sure Caitlin Clark stays in this because we really want the ratings and we really want the butts in the seats. And we they don't care. They don't care, period. So no, they wouldn't do that because in all honesty, they don't want her in there. The, if, the, if the league cared about its players, then when Caitlin Clark has been getting jacked up all season, they would have done something. They don't want her there. And you know what Indiana did? Indiana Fever says, we're not falling into that. We're not hanging our head. We're not tucking our tail. We're not buying that whole narrative that our fans are such horrible individuals that need to be put in check. They're all racist and we don't need that in our league. And all. no, we're not, we're not falling for that. So you know what we're gonna do? We're putting out this little video. And in this video, not only are we making a statement to our fans, the large majority of whom are decent people who really just want to watch good basketball. They don't have time for your causes and your activism and this whole thing that you want to, you know, you want to make this out to be. Caitlin Clark is here to play basketball. And her fans, I'm not talking about loose cannons out there. I'm talking about Indiana Fever fans. They're here to watch basketball. And they have been there. Not only for Indiana, not only in Indiana, but everywhere Caitlin Clark plays. And they don't deserve the demonization that is going on in this league right now. It wasn't just Alyssa Thomas. Dijanae's been in on it. Asia Wilson was in on it. When she started complaining about, oh, the only reason why she's getting attention is because she's, that, that, she's white. That she's in on it. Co-owner of the Atlanta Dream, Renee Montgomery, she's in on it. Angel Reese, she's in on it. There's a whole lot of people in on it, and they couldn't wait to get out there and trash the fans, Indiana Fever so-called fans, to use that opportunity to do that. And there is the WNBA leadership right from the top. Let me issue this letter. Let it be known, you racist people. Hmm. So either she just scared and took her orders or she's all in on it. And I'm telling you, there are so many issues in this league and Caitlin Clark coming along highlighted it all. I got more to say about this, about Caitlin Clark, about her future, et cetera, at another time. I'm going to stop right here. But again, I have a higher level of respect because Indiana could have crawled in a corner and said nothing, but they came, they knew, they knew their fans are being trashed and Caitlin Clark's name is being attached to it. And they still came out and said, thank you fans. Thank you fans. And I know there are some people out there in WNBA land who's going to be like, oh, I can't believe they said that these fans are racist. Didn't you hear what they said? Didn't you hear what they said? 
Thank you fans for your support of our basketball. So Indiana Fever, good for you. Good for you.